Toy collecting has been growing in popularity ever since Hasbro released their G.I. Joe line of action figures in the 1960s. But toy collecting began to grow exponentially when Kenner obtained the Star Wars license in the 1970s. Ever since then, people all over the world have not gotten enough of their favorite plastic heroes. Luckily for those in Orlando, they don't have to go far to get their fix of retro toys. Echo Base Collectibles, located in Orlando's Milk District, is home to all the retro toys you could need. From Star Wars to Ghostbusters and Transformers, they have it all. They even have a full print shop as part of their store. I spoke to the store's owner, Scott Lucas, about his unique business. With the majority of what Scott sells being out of production for decades now, he used to go on the hunt to find the goods. A lot of it is from eBay or just like we have some market watches in general, like with Star Wars has its own trading market, kind of like the stock market, which we belong to stuff like that. But a lot of it just comes from like sold listings and eBay is a good base point. But how did a print shop and a toy store become the unlikely duo that Echo Base and Rebel reprints are today? The people that come in and pick up prints were into similar things as I am, so we decided to do the toy store, and I was such a big collector already that I had a good amount of stuff to start the store as well. Scott was inspired to open Rebel reprints due to his own experiences with printing companies. I've been a tattoo artist for 20 years and doing my own artwork, so you never had a good place to reproduce your artwork that was outside of just big printing companies. So this kind of keeps it where you can send your artwork to us and we know what it's supposed to look like because we make the same type of artwork. Rebel Reprints is located behind the counter at Echo Base Collectibles. Just how much of an impact does it have on the stores? I would say about 75% of the business is the print shop and we print for mostly local or just independent artists nationwide with stickers, chiclet prints, and reproducing their artwork to look as close as possible to the originals. Scott and his team are very creative people. They went beyond their comfort zone, from stickers, art prints, and pins, to creating a custom toy based on R2-D2 in Orlando itself. Here's how the team came up with their toy. I had the idea for the milk carton and R2-D2, and then I had Earl Funk make the mural on the side of the building. And then it just kind of came from there once there was like some artwork behind the idea. And then we designed the toy. It took about a year to produce from like the beginning thoughts to the end. The team took it upon themselves to create the toy in-house. Had it 3D sculpted. We printed the stickers so that it was just like the original R2-D2 where the outside was a sticker and it wasn't painted. The market for custom toys is wider than you think. Here's who was buying are two percent people that collect custom toys that are made by hand and pretty one of a kind we only made 70 of them and then that was it we never remade any extras and then a good amount of local people bought it just because this is the milk district so it you know personified their part of town and no one's ever made a toy for this part of town so a lot of local people did support it as well which was great Scott doesn't think custom toys are the future of rebel reprints and echo based collectibles I don't I don't think we could like be a toy manufacturer by any means, but we would love to keep doing like custom toys and pins, just ideas that we think are fun and we want to make that we don't think anyone else is going to make. We hopefully will have a couple more custom toys that delve into the same milk or lactose idea of the R2-D2. So hopefully in 2021 we'll have a couple others. 